Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going to show you guys the 10 best players, in my opinion, to invest in in the upcoming Black Friday and also the Cyber Monday market crash. Now, if you don't know about the market crash, I have done a video on it. I'll leave an annotation in the top right hand corner of the video. Be sure to go and check that if you haven't already seen it. That basically explains when Black Friday is and what's going to be happening and what you should do to prepare for it. But I'm going to be showing you the best players to invest in. And basically, player prices are going to drop a lot, and they're going to be at their cheapest probably around about Sunday or Monday, because that's when the most packs will have been out for a while. Player prices are going to keep on falling. And uh, yeah, you can pick the cards up now if you want, if you've just got a lot of coins and you want to just keep them in your club, uh, or maybe you want to use them. But I'd recommend picking them up when they are at their cheapest, which should be around about Sunday or Monday. And also, if you do want to go and check out Footbin, I'll leave a link down below to them. You can basically go and see the prices of players on a graph and see kind of when they reach their lowest price. So that can be quite useful. But without further ado, let's go on into the first player to invest in. The first player is going to be Carl Walker. Now, he's one of the most popular right backs on the game and one of the best ones. He plays in the Premier League, which is the most popular league on FIFA. And he will currently cost you around about 16 to 17,000 coins, depending on your console. I'm going to be going on the Xbox prices on PlayStation. They may be a bit different, but the prices should still drop. Uh, just as much so I still recommend getting them on PlayStation but I'm basing it on Xbox one prices but Walker you can expect him to drop to maybe around 12 or 13,000 coins possibly even cheaper to around 10,000 coins during the market crash and he'd be a great player to pick up because for foot champions for example he's one of the most highly desirable right backs on the game people are going to want to buy him his price will probably go up to around 18 to 20,000 coins after the market crash uh, in kind of a week or so after that. So I'd recommend maybe getting a few walkers if you can for around 12,000 coins or less would be a decent investment. Next up we have one of the most popular players on FIFA 17 and that is Renato Sanchez. Now right now he's going for just over 6,000 coins. His price is dropping literally by the hour. He's gone down by about 500 coins in the past hour and I could easily see him being around 4,000 coins during Black Friday making him one of the best investments you can pick up because he is one of the most popular, one of the most overused, and one of the best midfielders on this game. So if you can get him for 4,000 coins or less, I'd say, even under 5,000 coins, you should be able to sell him for probably eight, maybe even 10,000 coins after Black Friday because he is so, so popular on Ultimate Team. Everyone is using him, and he's going to get packed so much because he's only 78 rated, uh, and uh, yeah, his price is easily going to drop to probably around 4,000 coins. I'd recommend picking up a few. He's cheap. Uh, you can just keep a few in your club. And in the week or so after Black Friday, you could easily see him rising to uh, probably around eight, nine, even 10,000 coins. He was going for about 12k, I think about three days ago. His price has dropped now uh, by around 6,000 coins. So his price could easily rise up quite a lot after Black Friday. And yeah, definitely a great investment to pick up maybe on Sunday or Monday. I uh, could definitely see his price going up by quite a lot. Now the next player is one to watch John Stones. Now one to watch cards are literally perfect for investments. They're, that's what they're, they're on Ultimate Team for really. They have the same stats their normal card uh, with the first kind of one to watch card. If they do get informed that rating does get boosted. So they're literally perfect for investments. And he's currently going for around 30,000 coins. I could see him easily dropping to around 25k or less during the Black Friday market crash. He was going for around 33k earlier on today. He's already dropped by around 2,500 coins. And he is a great investment. Now, the reason I think he's one of the best players you can pick up is because he's 78 rated. And for those of you who don't know, EA don't do like they have on previous FIFAs, maybe 78, 79, or 80 rated in forms. They normally boost their cards all the way up to 82 or 81 as kind of a minimum rating. So John Stones, he'd probably be an 82 rating if he got an in form, which would make him one of the best English defenders who wasn't a legend on the game he'd have really good stats he'd have near 80 for pace he'd have over 80 probably for physical and defending good passing good dribbling he'd be one of the best defenders you could get on the game especially in a premier league team or for an english team and also he plays for man city one of the most popular teams to use on fifa so he'd be around 82 rating and i could easily see him being around 60 maybe even 75,000 coins if he did end up getting an inform and for center backs to get an inform all you really need to do is score a goal and maybe keep a clean sheet uh, score maybe two goals you're pretty much guaranteed to get an inform and he plays a lot for Man City he plays for England as well so he's got a lot of opportunities throughout this year of FIFA to get an inform because he gets forward quite a lot as well he makes quite a few runs forward so he is quite likely to get a goal and if he does get a goal and maybe keep a clean sheet or just play well at the back 
very, very likely to get an inform and will be a great investment. I mean, you're going to be able to get him for around 25k and you can easily sell him for well over 50,000 coins if he does end up getting an inform. Next up, we have N'Golo Kante. Now, he is currently going for around 23,000 coins. He's dropped by around 2,000 coins just today and I can see him going to maybe around 18,000 coins during a Black Friday. Now, he's a great investment because he's one of the most popular midfielders on the game and in the Premier League, is probably the best defensive midfielder you can get and also one of the best midfielders in the Premier League you can buy on Ultimate Team. He's extremely popular, he's a very, very good player and you guys could just pick him up uh, during Black Friday for maybe 17, 18,000 coins, use him in Foot Champions, use him in your team a bit for a week or so, sell him on after that week and he could easily be around 30,000 coins I reckon. I'd recommend probably selling most of these guys depending on their prices. It's quite hard to predict but I reckon their price will be the highest around about Friday. Um, the Friday after Black Friday because that's when people will be buying their teams for foot champions and he could easily go to around 25,000 maybe even around 30,000 coins on that Friday and you can get him on Black Friday or maybe Sunday or Monday for probably around 18 maybe 17,000 coins he's 81 rated he's gonna get packed a lot and he'd be a very very good investment moving back to the one to watch cards and this time we have got one to watch Leroy Sane now he is unbelievably cheap he's just over 30,000 coins and for a player with 91 place who plays in the Premier League, he is a very, very good investment. Now, most of the one to watch cards are pretty expensive, so Sane is actually a very, very cheap one. He's one of the cheapest one to watch cards, and he's got a great card as well. Now, very similar to Stones, if he gets an inform, he's not going to go up to maybe 80, uh, or he's not going to go up by one. He's likely to be an 82, maybe even an 83 rated player, so he would be one of the best right wingers in the Premier League, one of the best German right wingers as well. He'd probably have around 93, maybe even 94 pace. He'd have amazing stats, and he's also going to be one of the few German players in the Premier League. He's going to get a hyperlink to Gundogan. He's just going to be a very, very popular player to use on Ultimate Team, uh, and that's why I think he's a great investment, because you'll be able to get him for maybe 28 or 27,000 coins possibly during the Black Friday market crash, and if he gets an inform, his price could easily rise to around 60,000 coins or more because he's going to be one of the best right wingers you can get in the Premier League. And again, playing for Man City, very popular team and definitely a card I would recommend getting. He doesn't play too much for Man City, but he comes off the bench so he could get maybe a winner in a key game. He could get a man of the match card for that. And yeah, he's a card who I see as slightly less likely to get an inform than Stones. He is kind of... Um, an outside pick. If, if you've got maybe 40,000 coins, I wouldn't recommend just getting Sane or maybe Sanchez. Um, but uh, if you've got maybe 200,000 coins, maybe pick up a Sane, pick up stones, and then spread your coins out. Maybe get some Sanchez's, some Kante's, and some other players I will recommend in this video. Um, but yeah, he's a good one to pick up because if he does get an inform, his price is going to skyrocket to to a really, really good amount of, of coins, and you can make some great profits. So definitely a player I would recommend getting, and he's a good player on Ultimate Team as well. So again, similar to Kante, you could just keep him in your club and play some games with him uh, until he does get an inform, and you could maybe sell him on. Next up is Hector Bellerin. Now currently he's going for just over 10,000 coins, and with 95 pace and some very, very good stats, he is one of the most popular right backs on the game and playing in the most popular league on FIFA, which is the Premier League. He is so, so overused on Ultimate Team. He's Spanish as well, so links into the Liga BBVA. Everyone wants to use Bellerin or Walker in a Premier League team. And Bellerin, you come up against him all the time. Loads and loads of people go and buy Bellerin. And with him being 79 rated, he's going to get packed so much in lightning rounds. Uh, 50k packs, 100k packs, they're all going to be out. And they're going to make these players so cheap. I'd easily see Bellerin being maybe seven, maybe even 6,000 coins. And if you can get him for that price... His price will probably go up to maybe 12 or 13,000 coins on the next Friday after Black Friday when people are preparing their teams for foot champions. He'd be a really good investment. I reckon you can get him pretty cheaply. And uh, he's just, again, a great player you could use in your club for a bit uh, and then sell him on the following week and make some nice profits. So definitely quite a cheap one I would recommend picking up uh, for your investment. Moving back to the one to watch cards, and this time we've got Krykoviak from PSG and I think he may actually be the cheapest one to watch card on the game currently selling for just over 20,000 coins he's 84 rated in place for PSG and he's just a player I would definitely recommend picking up because he's so so cheap I don't think he plays too much for PSG I think Thiago Motta is currently starting ahead of him but he is so so cheap and he's not really going to drop much cheaper after Black Friday if you can get him for maybe 18 maybe 17,000 coins during Black Friday that is a very, very good deal because you could get this guy and uh, even if you get him for maybe 20,000 coins or so, if he gets an inform, he's going to be 85 or 86 rated. He's going to have amazing stats, probably over 90 physical, um, and he could easily get one playing for PSG or playing for Poland. 
he'd be a good one to pick up because he's so cheap right now. Even if you get him in Black Friday and sell him on in six months or so, his price is still going to be probably a bit higher because I just don't see him going lower than 20,000 coins or so. So if you could get him uh, for a really good price, 20,000 coins or less, I'd say, just keep him in your club. He's a really good player. You could partner him up with someone like Matuidi. Just keep him in your club and then sell him on in the future if he does end up getting an inform. He's a player who isn't that likely to get an inform, um, but since he's so, so cheap, if he does get an inform, he's going to be selling for uh, probably 50, maybe 60,000 coins. So he's a player you can keep in your club. You can sell him on if you want, maybe in a month or so. He doesn't end up getting any informs. You can just sell him on and you're not going to lose out on him. But if you do have maybe around 200,000 coins or more, maybe pick up a Krochowiak because you're going to be able to get him very cheaply. 20,000 coins or less, I'd say. And yeah, you can just keep him. And in the off chance he does get an inform, you're going to be able to make some very, very nice coins. Next up, we've got Thomas Muller. Now, currently, he's going for just over 27,000 coins. He was going for 37k about three days ago. His price is dropping massively. And I could see him being around 22, maybe 21,000 coins, even under 20k during Black Friday. Now, he is high rated. He's not going to be as packed as many times as someone like Bellerin. But still, I do see his price dropping a lot to probably around about 20,000 coins. And he is one of the best players you can invest in because, other than Lewandowski, he is the best striker you can get uh, for Bayern Munich. So if you want to use someone like Douglas Costa, Renato Sanchez, Komen, anyone like that, you're likely to need to use Muller unless you've got a lot of coins and can afford someone like Lewandowski. But Lewandowski is very, very expensive, so a lot of people go with Muller. And Muller is also a player you can play at centre mid, you can play at attacking midfield, striker, centre forward. He's a player a lot of people want to buy. I've used him in squad builders recently, he's an, he, and he is a very, very good player who I like using. And he's a player who I definitely would see rising up to around 30,000 coins or more uh, on the Friday after Black Friday, so a week after Black Friday. Uh, if you can get him for around 20,000 coins, anything under, I'd say, 22k, I would pick him up. Wait a week or so and you should be able to sell him on and make some nice profit. So again, he's a good card to get if you've got 200k or more, I'd say. You don't want to be spending uh, most of your coins on someone like Muller because overall you're not going to make as much profit on one Muller as if you picked up maybe a couple of Renato Sanchez's if you don't have many coins. If you've got a lot of coins, get some Mullers, get, just kind of spread it out. If you've got maybe half a million coins, buy a Muller or so, maybe, maybe one or two Mullers. Maybe you get a couple of one to watch cards, maybe one of each of the ones I have shown you, and then maybe just get a couple of Renato Sanchez, a couple of Bellerins. Now, that would be the best thing to do. Um, but he's a player I wouldn't recommend getting unless you've got maybe 200k or more. If you, if you have under like 100,000 coins, just get a lot of players like Bellerin and Renato Sanchez, and you should be good. If someone like Kante drops to maybe 16 or 15,000 coins, goes very, very low, he'd be a great player to get if you, if you are on a budget. Um, but yeah, Muller's a decent player to get if you've got a lot of coins. And I could see his price rising by around 10,000 coins after Black Friday. And the final player of the 10 best players you can invest in on Black Friday is going to be Henrik Mkhitaryan. Now, the reason I think he's a great investment is because he's one of the best right mids on the game. One of the best right mids in the Premier League by far. If you look at his stats, he's got 5-star weak foot, 4-star skills. Very, very nice guard. He plays for Man United as well. Very, very popular team, obviously. And he's currently going for around 20k. I could easily see his price dropping to under 15,000 coins. During Black Friday, I see uh, his price dropping to potentially maybe 13k or so, maybe 14k. And if you can get him for that, I could see his price going up to maybe 22, 23,000 coins. I see it rising above what it is currently uh, a week or so after Black Friday. So it would be a good investment. You could maybe get Willian as well. They're both uh, the uh, joint highest rated right mid, I believe, in the Premier League. And would be very good investments because a lot of people build Premier League teams for foot champions and things like that. You've either got him or Willian, really, if you want a really good right mid. Unless you have got the player of the month, Sterling. Uh, so yeah, him or William, you can kind of choose between the two. I think Mkhitaryan, though, is the cheaper, so he's the one I would go with. So there we go, guys. Those are 10 of the best players you can invest in, in my opinion, during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, during the market crash, that you can hopefully make a lot of coins on. But there are many other players to invest in that you can make a lot of coins on. So if you do want me to do a part two to this video, then smash a like on the video. If we can get 200 likes, I'll bring out part two as soon as we get that like target. Leave a comment down below as well if there are any players you think are good to invest in, and I may be able to include them in the next episode. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. It is just predictions uh, whether these player prices will go down. It's very hard to judge, but I've kind of put a lot of effort into finding out the stats for these players, finding out what their price are now, which players are dropping the fastest, so they should definitely drop down a lot and uh, i would recommend getting the cards that i have shown in this video if you're on a lower budget 
uh, focus more on people like Renato Sanchez. If you've got like 20,000 coins, maybe just get uh, three or four Renato Sanchez's. If you've got about 250k, you can maybe get a couple of one to watch guys. I wouldn't really recommend getting a one to watch guy unless you've got at least 100,000 coins. If you do only have like 100k or so, maybe you get someone like Stones. The other two, they're kind of more riskier investments in my opinion, but they're still very, very good ones. If you've got over 200k or so, maybe get someone like uh, Sane. Prochariak a very cheap one, so he is a good one to pick up. Um, but uh, yeah, depending on your budget, you can uh, kind of just base that on the players you do pick up. Also, if you do have any questions, maybe just comment down below your budget and ask me which players you should invest in, and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As I said, 200 likes will bring up part two. But uh, yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.